Hi, in this video, we're going to take a look at how you can connect the EasyCast Duo uh, from your Android phone to the TV. And I'm going to show you a demo video and you can see what it looks like. So here is my Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra mobile device. This is the actual device here. It will allow you to mirror your phone screen to the TV through this interface. At the back here, it's an output. It has two output. One is the HDMI and the other one is VGA. And you also have an audio output at the back. So on this end here, I'm going to plug in the HDMI. If you want to uh, output to a computer monitor, you can also choose to um, use VGA instead. And at the front here, we're going to plug in a USB A type into this hole. It's so there's also an audio uh, input as well with a uh, 3.5 uh, millimeter. Uh, the cable is also provided with this uh, with this package. And here, and over here, we need to plug in the power source. You can see over here, I've got a, a power adapter, USB power adapter. So you plug it in here, and it will turn on. And over here, it needs to be plugged in, and on your TV, you need to um, tune into the correct channel or the correct input. And on this end, I'm going to plug in this USB C to my Galaxy S20 here. I'll plug it in. And on my phone, I need to enable developer options. So you can swipe down, tap on settings, go all the way down, make sure developer options is already enabled. If not, you can go into about phone, tap on software information, and then tap on the build number seven times to activate developer options. Then in developer options, make sure you turn on USB debugging. So make sure that it's turned on. Then next, you want to go to the Google Play Store and download an app called EasyCast, Cast Media to TV. After you have installed it, tap on the Open button. And this will open up um, the EasyCast software. And from here, this is a, um, a wire version. So you want to tap on this wire cable. So tap on that. Uh, plug in the cable, make sure the cable is properly plugged in. And say wait for a few seconds before the screen mirror mirroring begins. So we're just gonna wait. Now if you see it say connection timeout, please make, make sure the cable is able to transfer data. Just unplug it and turn it around. Maybe there's an issue with connecting the cables. So just do that. And then just gonna try again. So, so make sure that USB tethering is uh, switched on. So I'm just going to start EasyCast and then tap on allow permission. And then I'm going to tap on back key. And we're going to start again. So EasyCast. And then I'm just going to tap on the wire cable. And we start again. If the cable connected uh, successfully, it should pop up a screen and say start now. Tap on start now and then tap on allowed. And it's just trying to open up a web page. I'm going to tap on the home button. So now on the screen, it should appear. So you can see on my phone, it will now mirror what's on the screen. So if I go home, go home page. Um, if I turn that way, you can see the TV goes that way. So once you plug in the cables, it automatically knows um, that you are connecting to the TV. You don't have to do anything special. You don't have to set up Wi-Fi or anything because this is a wire um, setup. So all you have to do is just plug in the USB cable. So it should automatically detect uh, onto the TV. Now let's uh, play a sample video so you can see what it looks like. I'm going to op open up my gallery app and then launch a video and I'm going to play it. I'm going to turn it around. And this is what it looks like uh, on the TV. And this on my phone. And that's on the TV right there. So depending on the video um, quality, you can see this a bit of blurry on the screen at the moment. Um, 
let me just check the video details on this one so details so this one here is a 4k videos and it's streaming um, 4k so when I'm playing on TV it's a bit blurry uh, it's a bit noisy so not much details so let's have a look at this one here so this one here looks a lot better uh, it's not very blurry on this video so I'm just gonna look at the details on this one uh, this was also 4k video but somehow um, the quality comes out a little bit better so not perfect um, the quality is not 100% perfect it's not very sharp as you can see if I zoom in on the TV so it's not a bad but uh, could be better could be sharper but still allowing you to if you go traveling uh, you still can uh, cast what on your uh, phone to the TV to play uh, one of the problems is uh, this phone here doesn't have um, a um, audio output so if you have a newer phone uh, that doesn't have uh, 3.5 millimeter audio output then you might have a problem outputting the audio uh, onto the TV but um, for photos it looks pretty good for photos if you want to stream photos onto a TV and that's it that's how you can connect your EasyCast Duo uh, to the TV thank you for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more videos